spring has sprung, a lot of us try to empty the closets, donate what we don't love anymore, and just refresh our home. Uh, however, uh, not everybody wants to pay a housekeeper. Not everybody wants to buy expensive cleaning products. The EPA is flashing a red light on greenwashing. Greenwashing is the exaggeration of a company's environmental credentials. So basically saying we're environmentally friendly, but maybe not so much. Uh, it comes as the agency is rolling out its Safer Choice program, resources to help consumers to know exactly what is the best choice uh, in cleaning products for the environment and your home. Uh, grab your phone because I want you to scan the QR code that we're about to put on the bottom right of your screen to lead you to the best deals on bestreviews.com. But Jacob Palmer is here, Senior Director of Content Operations for Best Reviews. Okay, first, Jacob, thanks for being here. The greenwashing label. I've never heard of greenwashing until this interview. And so, you know, how do you know when somebody's saying, you know, this is actually a natural product that won't ever contaminate my environment? Well, it's a really interesting question. And, you know, thanks for having me in the first place. But as people ramp up for spring cleaning, it's an appealing, it's an appealing story. You know, you want to do well, you want to be able to help the environment. And so a lot of manufacturers, a lot of sellers are taking advantage of that. And the EPA has now stepped in to provide resources to consumers to make sure that they aren't being duped because that really all that that's all greenwashing is is an exaggeration of what this product can do in terms of helping the environment and the epa has rolled out these things to help sure it's what to help make sure that you aren't being fooled by those marketing tactics and what you want to look for are the eco labels which can be found on products that are backed by the epa it basically ensures you're you're buying the products that are valid in their claims they're making up front and, and and you know the green flag so to speak instead of red flags I, the fact is is that when you purchase these kinds of in, uh, of products they're usually much more expensive uh, than traditional they, brands. They are. And uh, right now, as we're seeing, especially in consumer behavior, saving money is one of the biggest considerations that people have for all of their purchases, not just when they're trying to find deals on something fancy. Now it's going down to the grocery level. It's going down to basically everything. And sellers were using that greenwashing tactic to hike up prices. And so what we recommend is kind of a twofold approach here. You want to start with the EPA tools to make sure that you're not being duped. And then you also want to do smart tactics like buying in bulk, uh, which can be a little bit more expensive. But when you're using things like walmart.com, Amazon, they have the sa uh, saving options of buying a lot up front and then even subscribing and then making sure that you always have what you need and then saving 10, 15%. Also make sure that you're looking for things like uh, that can be reused, things like reusable mop heads or even dishwasher safe sponges. That will also, also help you save over the long run but it is very susceptible to that greenwashing tactic. Jacob, we want to thank you. We want to tell folks at home to scan that QR code, use your camera like this and hold it up to the TV and you'll get all the latest deals, great products that you can buy that are sustainable, truly sustainable, and even maybe uh, budget friendly for you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Bestreviews.com forward slash News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.